Thankfully, it's November, and Appalachian Wireless is offering the Samsung GS8 or the GS8 Plus for $100 off the regular price with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Dozens of kids will have a more Merry Christmas thanks to the Jenkins and May King Volunteer Fire Departments. The two departments came together this year to hold a Haunted Mansion event at the Old Jenkins Country Club to raise money for Jenkins' Shop with a Firefighter event and May King's Santa Fire Truck Runs, both very worthy causes. But a co-organizer, a Jenkins Volunteer Firefighter, is paying the price for the event. More than $2,000 worth of his personal tools and pieces of equipment were stolen in the days following the conclusion of the Haunted Mansion. Either early in the morning or, or late Halloween night, uh, a low life or a group of low lives, and I say that because they, they broke into the, the old country club here and took some tools from a fireman that was here doing a, a, a charity event. Jenkins Police Chief Jim Stevens said an assortment of tools and equipment was taken out of the old country club building. He said the individuals responsible took advantage of others who were hoping to help a group of deserving children. He said the investigation into the theft is well underway. It blows your mind to think that somebody would actually do something like that. That's why we call them lowlifes. Uh, we do have some, some leads. Uh, the last time we had some problems up here, uh, some hunters had come to me and had mentioned that they were going to start setting up cameras to not only look for the game, but to help us out because they're, they're community-minded people. We usually don't hear from them until Mondays because they check their cameras on weekends. Uh, so hopefully Monday we'll have, have an idea. But Stevens also said there still may be an out for those who took the items. The victim of the crime was one of the Jenkins firefighters. His thought is that as long as, as he gets his stuff back, he's probably uh, uh, going to call it even. So I would say as long as we get the stuff back, he'll call it even. If we don't hear anything from these people and get the stuff back, then we'll call it a felony and we'll follow the procedures and, and we'll eventually get them. But regardless of the outcome, the event and the victimized firefighter still managed to help some kids have a more Merry Christmas. You can think that, that you've played a Halloween trick on this firefighter who's working for these kids, but in reality, the treat's going to come when that firefighter sees these kids, firefighter shop with a firefighter morning, getting their presents that they might not have got. Anyone with information on the thefts is asked to contact the Jenkins Police Department or Jenkins firefighter Matt Anderson, who was the victim of the theft, at the number on your screen. In Jenkins, Chris Anderson, EKB News.